hey guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking in thank you for your likes overwhelming comments positive negative they are always welcome apart from the insults we don't take insults definitely guys as you can see it's a very very cold evening where i am i don't know where you are here it's very cold it's raining day and night and that is what i really wanted <laughs> i was complaining about the heat but the rains are here and definitely you know as a farmer all i need is rain thank you so much my people for always coming back to check on me i really appreciate your love and support i don't take it for granted my super slappers my keyboard reactors my premier gang my subscribers new and old i love you guys to the moon and back thank you so much for your love and support i don't take that for granted did i say that this is the second time yeah and i mean it guys why is miss trudy crying this is the title of our video today so we can i know most of you people have watched this video and so we came across this video when she was crying that she is detained in america according to the title that she pulled out she said why i got detained in america and she was crying it was a very very hard time for her i really felt for her i really felt felt for her i've been left with a plane in a foreign country for me to go back and do a few things and you know <laughs> whatever they wanted me to do to again look for a way that you are coming back it's not easy i imagine with the swollen legs and everything i had to remove my boots uh, fortunately i had some sandals with me i was running up and down the following day i'm jumping up and down and everything i've gone through this at least once only once and it was the most scary thing that had ever happened to me like before and if she's saying that she has gone through this uh two or maybe three times you know it's very very tiring everyone was feeling for her but anyway it is what it is this is the video that she brought out and she was crying and even before i bring out this video maybe uh as a result definitely i know people have gone through it but you know when we are reacting we bring receipts right <laughs> we need to bring the receipts but anyway uh, i want to read with you a few comments that uh, people were writing to her concerning that issue i really wanted to share with you this because i thought that maybe just maybe this will help there are these two comments that really touched me that i want to share with you this person says it's good you get a ghana resident card marriage certificate isn't enough you are not a foreigner but married to a ghanaian so get what is needed for you to be safe this is because Mr. D said that they are denying her to get through to ghana because she did not have the ghanaian id or the residential uh, identification so that is why this person was telling her it's good you get a ghanaian resident card marriage certificate isn't just enough you are not a foreigner but married to a ghanaian so get what is needed for you to be safe according to that video she had said that she was even giving them the marriage certificate proving to them that yes she is married in ghana but they refused she said everything that she could say gave every evidence she could give but they just refused all they wanted was the ghanaian resident card <laughs> according to her the first attempt was not about that it was about the luggage that was you know supposed to be paid for so she the plane left her she had to go back and look for money and come and pay for that luggage now they were not asking for the uh, resident card she had to go through but now after coming with the money she's paying for all the luggages and here she is now again they're asking for the residential card so in the conversation people are saying a lot of things people are like oh that's america oh because you're black all oh, all those all those things but people are insisting like trudy kindly get this resident card to avoid such issues from happening again 
This time it might not be in America. What will you say? Because these people, they're just following their rules as an airline. This one said, Trudy, get a Ghanaian resident card which you are entitled to because you are married to a Ghanaian. What am I should know this? Now, when I saw this comment, I was like, you think Wodemaya doesn't know this? That uh, Miss Trudy needs this residential card? For all this time, they've been together. So Miss Trudy doesn't have a residential card. And how is it really done over there? Or, you know, all these questions, just asking. You know, I'm just asking because this is Africa. And we know Africa how it works sometimes. Like, if you have the money, you'll definitely get what you want. It's so simple. But also, there's a way in some African countries, there are some laws that when someone comes in as a foreigner or married, they need to stay for a certain time before they get their residential cards. Is this what Miss Trudy is waiting for? This is also a question that I left aside as I was still watching this video as we go on. Anyway, later, Miss Trudy came explaining and I want us to listen to this, guys. Like I've flown to the US so many times and I always go back. They say they need an I, 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 I identification card. Foreigners don't get an identification card immediately. You must stay in Ghana for a couple of years to get an identification card. And I'm trying to explain to them and they are not having I'm just I just feel so frustrated. I'm just so done. Like I'm just so done. How can I sue this airline? How, please, if you know how I can sue this airline, drop a comment, let me know, because I'm just done. This is the second time. I was here two days ago. When I was here two days ago, I was able to go through. Um, um, the, only, the only thing that made me remain behind was the heavy luggage. So then I come again today. I paid for the extra luggage. I think everything is sorted. Then now they're telling me marriage certificate. I need an ID from. I'm like, what is happening? It's like they don't even know what they're saying. They haven't even done their own research. Ah, oh, God. Guys, I really... I'm so frustrated. Oh, my God. This has been my worst 24 hours in the States. I really thought I was going to leave today in peace. As we've all heard, she is saying that they were calling for the Ghanaian identification card. The residential card. That's what they were calling for. And that is it. She gave the marriage certificate. Mm -mm. Nothing, nothing. So that's what they needed. It was as simple as that. And it was getting complicated because she doesn't have it. And people are asking her, even in the comments section, so many questions anyway that needed to be replied. But at least she tried to reply that one that for a foreigner coming in, you need to stay in Ghana for a... Uh, some couple of years before you get your residential card and it's the same thing also here in kenya it's the same thing maybe in some of our african countries but at the same time money speaks in africa money can speak if she really wants to get it in ghana she can really get it believe me she can but anyway they just like are trying to you know adhere to the law and that is it now this person said this as you go home the next day go and look about that card don't let there be a third time because it will not be a charm that one said this one said trudy i am an immigration officer in ghana and I think the problem here is that you don't have a residence permit in Ghana in your passport, which qualifies as a visa anytime you want to enter Ghana again. Just a marriage certificate doesn't qualify as a visa in Ghana. Please, since you are married to a Ghanaian, get it done is actually very cheap for people married to Ghanaian or with Ghanaian background, take care. This is an immigration officer in Ghana. 
that is trying to advise Miss Trudy on how to go about this. And he is, I don't know if she is or he is, he's trying to tell Miss Trudy how cheap it is to get it. Now, what did I just say? If you have the money, you will definitely get it. It's so simple. <laughs> this is Africa. I live African for Africans. <laughs> I always tell you this. Mm -hmm. You will understand slowly by slowly. It's not an insult or anything. Because there, there's a way we do things that only us can understand. Other people from outside, when they come in, they start questioning a lot. And sometimes there are things that you can't even really, really, really explain to people who don't understand your laws, your upbringing, everything about Africa. Now, let's listen to this one. This one said, Miss Trudy, as soon as you get to Ghana, please apply for an ID. You get it the same day. <laughs> this one is something else. There was a time I stayed in my neighboring country here from Kenya. I stayed in Uganda for two years and I got that residential card just like, hmm, like that <laughs> just like that i got the id in uganda it was so easy i was so shocked and since then i knew getting an id uh, in any african country it's all about money and if you know someone that knows someone and then, then someone that knows the other someone and then yeah your paper will be out that was it that was from trudy's side now guys let's move back to our niche, let's move back to our place, Nyabohanse. In Nyabohanse, we have Mayugno that is left back there. And Mayugno definitely is talking too much. <laughs> Mayugno is saying so many things. I'm looking at Mayugno, talking the way he talks. Sometimes they say, oh, this man takes ganja before he speaks and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. I can't argue with anyone about that one. Mayugno came for reactors. You see, when you come for reactors, definitely you are calling us, which is okay. Maybe this is a new trick that maybe Maro has taught him how to do this thing. Like you, when you talk about reactors, try to trigger them. They'll come talking about you and <laughs> the traffic will be drawing on your side. I don't know if that is the trick or this is just what he wanted to say. You know, like, Reactors, we are here doing our thing. And for people who follow us and listen to us and support us through, they do understand that reaction is here to stay. Reaction is here as a niche and YouTube allows it. Reaction is the truth that is usually brought with receipts. So when you come out to say, oh, I don't listen to those reactors because they're just lying. They just pick your video and don't do. Listen. If these reactors are picking your video and they do it with what they do with it, it is your video that is public. If a reactor won't take it and do whatever they want to do with it, someone else will pick it and they will do whatever they want to do with it. It's too simple. But now anyway, Marwa just decided to tell people how he's been listening to reactors, how sick he's been. Uh, about reactors and stuff. And now he doesn't listen to reactors because Marwa asked him, not to. So if Marwa asked him not to listen to reactors, did Marwa ask him to be talking or calling out reactors? <laughs> because I don't understand, like, if you're not watching us, then why are you talking about, about it? You get? Like, you know, when he is calling out and I'm like, but you're talking about us. Why can't you then shut up? If you really, you don't watch us, then why are you talking about it, Mayugno? Mayugno is here talking about reactors, guys. Listen to this. So today I need to talking about something so different because you guys, sometimes you, you like to see me, maybe I do uh, a positive, uh, I don't like to do negativity uh, comment. I don't like, don't like. But to me, sometimes I listen too much. These things before it was affect me. I was using to watch a watch a reaction too much, you know. Uh, before I was not like before when I start channel, but the day I was start to learn English and I start to understand English, you know. Sometimes you can open your phone like this. The notification someone is tagging, so you go there. You say, hey, my you know, 
or we do this, my you know, attack this. My. So you know, before I was not understand English, you make me bad to uh, I don't know. So use the day sometimes I don't focus because even I can go there watch, I don't listen, I don't understand what is this guy talking about. So the day I start learning English, it was make me confused. Even you guys will see in my channel sometimes I using to reply the things reaction say. Uh, someone reacted for me and I can go on my channel also reply this but I understand and I learn a lot after I see the house the people live on the YouTube I learn a lot and I really thank you so much team Rindima for love and support you you show me I never take for granted imagine so today <laughs> I never watch again reaction I stop I think it's now almost two weeks I think it is two weeks because the day was call me a lot of advice. My you know, don't watch reaction, don't be with this. I stop now. I stop for very long time. Now it's two weeks. I stop watch reaction. So this before it was make me sometimes shock because I, when I see the title, my you gonna know, do this. My you know, ready. Ah, uh, my you know, make this in someone. My you gonna know, do this. So sometimes me in my feeling make me I feel so bad. Because someone he can talk for me, I then I never do something like that. And then when I go there, guys, I watch sometimes make feel bad because someone he face directly. So even you guys, when you are a team Rindima, don't watch like so much work rea watch reaction because it can make you are feeling. Even you can feel bad for someone and uh, it's not do this in reality. Maybe like a. Uh, uh, the reaction say you know because the reaction you wait when you put video so through your video you can get uh opportunity to do a content yeah it's not easy actually catching up with my Uguno's english it's a little bit hard i know <laughs> we are really trying we are really trying but from what he just said i i'm trying to understand that he's telling his people don't listen to reactors. What they are saying is not the truth. That is what he is saying. What these people are saying is not the truth. Because they talk about me. They talk about me. And by the end of the day, I feel bad. I feel like crying. I feel this. <laughs> all these things that Mayugno is saying. Uh, when I look at the title, oh my God, I just want to die. And I'm like, why are they saying this and stuff? Uh <coughs> I do understand that uh, Mayugno, sorry for that. I do understand that Mayugno is um, a little bit nervous, like when it comes to these things, because for him coming on these streets was not easy. Uh, just a mere person at Marwa's place, and he just got into this game and he found out that uh, things are done differently here. And also understanding that Mayugno had all that energy. You know, to pull the crowds and everything. He came with a very big bang, you know, <laughs> when he was coming in. Not understanding that when you are growing like that, and also getting close to Marwa is another thing, definitely people will talk about you. Getting close to Marwa, doing some stuff, and also lying a lot on these streets can, you know, can get you in trouble. I don't understand why he's saying that, oh, these people, what they are saying, you can find that is not true. What is it that we brought here? Let me speak for myself. Let me speak for myself. What is it that I have brought here about him without any receipts that Mayuguno has said this or has said that and I won't bring any receipts? So why is he saying that we are lying? You understand? Anyway, Mayuguno went on to explain to his people about his hardware. Was it just the other day I was asking about this hardware and also asking if really it's still working? And some of you are telling me, yes, it's working. Only today to find out from Mayugno that the hardware is not working. How did he come up with that content? It's because he's been watching us reactors as much as he's trying to deny that oh i don't watch him i've been like not watching them for the last two weeks <laughs> my is watching us because we asked this question what happened to the hardware what happened to the hardware guys eh what happened to the hardware 
I remember I was telling you guys, also in the comment section, I tried to answer some of you. Listen, Mayugno said himself that he's been a street boy and he never went to school. That's what he said. And if he went, maybe you can remind me, maybe in the comment section. If, if he went, he never completed his first primary school. So it's very hard for a, such a person I don't want to just call the name because it will look like maybe I'm insulting him or there's a way, you know, there's a way this wannabe sometimes they always bring out, bring it out, <laughs> you know. I'm not demeaning anyone, but I'm just saying it the way it is. The illiteracy in him can't allow him to uh, do this kind of business. The hardware store business is not bananas. This business is not vegetables. This is a real business that needs someone who knows how to count money very well. One cement is around 950 Kenyan shillings. People are coming in taking how many bags of cement? Many. And I know in Yabuhanse over there, so many people are building. Apart from the YouTubers, there are other people there who are also building. I know there are so many government officials that bought land in Yabohansi. When I was there, I was showed some very big mansions in Yabohansi that the YouTubers there, they usually don't show us. Like maybe I would have done a video of, of the Nyabohansi that they don't show us. <laughs> the Nyabohansi that they don't show us. Yes, there were so many big mansions and uh, community-gated kind of compounds that these YouTubers, they usually don't show us. They only show us that it is only the Nyambohanse boys that are doing well in life. But there are other people who have bought land there, government officials from Migori uh, County and also from the Esabania side and even some foreigners maybe who are doing businesses, big businesses at the border. As you all know, on that border, we have so many Somalis over there. That Somali girl that Marwa brought to her home, she actually told us a lot about the Somali community in Migori County. Many of them have bought pieces of lands over there. Or maybe, let me say, they have leased, you know, they have leased some lands over there. And definitely these Somali people, they have stayed in Kenya for a very long time. Some came here during the war when they were still young and now they are old, they are still around. So they at least have a chance to buy uh, pieces of lands in Kenya and they have built big mansions. Big mansions, I tell you. So all these rich people all around that place, how will they be going to the hardware to buy one piece? I mean, or one big uh bag actually of cement definitely they are buying many and many and many bags apart from the apart from the cements um what else do they sell they sell some some steel we have some steel for a lot of stuff guys you know how do i you know the construction for those who know the construction you know all these steel kinds of stuff the iron sheets yeah the board the uh, ceiling board, all this, the, the timber, so many things that are involved in this hardware business. So many things that are involved, including the transportation. Also, you need to have transportation for your clients just in case they might need one. So we are not talking about a small business. We are talking about a very, very big business that must be handled with someone who knows how to count money. <laughs> someone who knows how to do bookkeeping for the for the company or for the shop someone who knows how business is really running big time at that place how can this mayugno's business be doing so well when mayugno doesn't know all these things Maybe he might get someone to do it for him. But you see, the moment you get someone to do something for you, this is now my own experience about business, especially in Kenya. If you start employing people to do some jobs for you, when you really don't know how to do that job yourself, they will cut you off. They'll be eating your money because you don't know how to call in 
accountants to come and do the auditing and everything. You don't know. So whatever they will put on the table is what you will think that they are selling. And yet they are filling their pockets. They will fill their pockets until when the stock is running low, they will resign from the work and they will leave you with a very big loss. That is what happens. Here, if you want to open a business, you yourself understand that business very well. After understanding this person, train this person again to understand the kind of business you are doing. And be your own supervisor in your own place to make sure things are running so well. Could Mayugno know that or know how to do that? Definitely no. And that is why the business had to run down. And now Mayugno is sitting here talking too much the way he does always. I don't know if this is activating donations or there's another reason behind this. But when I had Mayugno coming out with this a title actually saying that the reason why I lost my business in Nyabohanse, Kenya. I knew Maro was asking for something. Donators can donate their money to Mayugno if they want to. We have nothing against that. But how sure are we that he's going to take care of this business again if he really gets money to open it? Is he really going to take care of that business? Let's listen to Mayugno. So today, guys, I try to tell you and uh, give you uh, things are uh, different. These things are different. Sometimes I will say maybe this is a plan of God, maybe. And uh, sometimes we learn through things we lose. Guys, I lost my business in a hardware. That things things you need to understand. I lost my business in the hardware. I lost, I lost my business. The way I try to spend my hands, maybe one day can help my family. So now I don't have a business. Yeah. The reason why, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, but a lot of things, a lot of issue, a lot of challenging in the business. When I start my business, so I make a lot of problem, biggest issue. Even I pay the rent even like eight months. Yeah, in the hardware there. So, no, nobody can say you rent there and uh, you need to take your money back. No, after you paid someone, you go to do a lot of things you need to do. So maybe I spend to looking, maybe one day, I need to focus with my dream home now first. These are things I need to do more than everything because I will say now I stop everything. I make sure I, st I keep go with my construction. And I make one day my dream come through, not say my dream come through without work hard, without spend a lot of time in the work. I need to focus with YouTube only fast now, but everything maybe for future. But I understand because even the same, same, like someone can get a loss, get a puncture for this, the things he do. Yeah, even me, I get this. I could say that Mayugno is activating donations, but also at the same time, when he said that I want to focus on YouTube, I don't want to <laughs> mix myself into this and into this and into that. Mayugno opened that uh, hardware because money was really flowing in. And he could not understand how the business was working because money was almost everywhere he turns. You know, when he turns this way, money is coming in. When he turns on the other side, money was just coming in and he was pumping a lot of money into that hardware, just knowing that it is what it is. You see this free money sometimes. <laughs> that is how it is. Karma happen and yeah, he's here now crying that he doesn't have the hardware. So where did the money go? Who fed on his money? We all don't know. He's the only one who knows because he said, you see this business, it became uh, with uh, so many issues, with a lot of challenges. and blah, 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 blah. He's not even explaining what kind of challenges are these to his own donors because they need to understand if they sent in money, where did the money go? If they're the ones who opened that business, how did it go down? You know, all these explanations have to be done. But my Buno is just there yapping, 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 activating donations, activating donations and telling people, oh, you know what, me, I just want to concentrate with my YouTube career and this, this, this. You think if someone else like Mama Grace decides to send money in right now, my Yugno, this one is a hundred thousand shillings. Go and buy that cement and fill up your hardware. You think my Yugno won't do it? He will definitely do it. 
he he's just like trying to tell people oh you know i just want to concentrate feeling sorry for himself and then on the other side he's coming to say i had paid for that place for over eight months and you know i can't take that money back because once you have paid you have paid guys i'm really trying to translate this for you <laughs> from my you know that is what he said actually once you have paid for the money for the rent you can't take it back so the place is just there like that what is he really trying to tell us is trying to tell us that this place is already paid for and there is no stock inside so if you people you can check out your pockets you can send me some money to refill my place because you see already it's paid the whole rent for the place is paid <laughs> that's what my yugno is telling you people you people go and support our brother i don't have anything against these people because there's nothing we can do about uh trying to tell the this donor sometimes how they can get in these traps you understand i know many of you also in the comment section my keyboard reactors most of you have come out from those traps for so many things that they have been actually been trying to pull out there trapping you to get into it and you usually come out and tell us oh you reactors actually you did well to open our eyes so that we can really understand what is happening with these boys the other one told me the other day thank you carol i was almost paying money for that party I was actually coming for that party. If it was not for you reactors, <laughs> I would have not seen the big picture. And this is the big picture here. This boy sitting there is activating donations. There is nothing else that we can call that apart from that. He said that he doesn't listen to reactors. No, he is listening to reactors and that is why he's coming out to bring all these stories. He's coming here to mention reactors because he knows reactors are out here watching and listening to him. I don't know what to think about this video. Guys, thank you so much for watching and subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. Okay, hit on the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video, you'll be among the first people to be notified and share this video out. Let's agree and disagree and uh, uh you know criticize them let's analyze together put all these things together and also don't forget to check my store pick anything that you love just to support this channel am carol click on store store on my channel it will take you straight to spread shop let's see what can excite you over there pick it up and i will say thank you from my side because by doing that you 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 will be actually, <laughs> English is not vegetable. You will be actually supporting this channel, AM Carol. And I say thank you, thank you, thank you in advance. Guys, let's meet on the next one. And it is bye-bye from me.